still don't understand, do you? What's up, guys? It's your boy. It's your go DXD. Touch it, be on repair. Chapter 5, part 5. So we're doing part 5. And yeah, let's just do it. Let's not waste any more time. Sasuke remains beside, remain, Sas sorry guys. Sasuke remain beside, Naruto's beside, till morning. Refusing to leave for fear that Naruto would make his escape sometime when Sasuke wasn't around to convince him to stay. Naruto was the only friend that really even cared enough about him about him to track him down when he was feeling moody which was more often than Sasuke liked lately it seemed like the only thing he could think about around Kuna was when his parents had been murdered and his brother had fled yes no he knew reasoning behind what had happened but that still didn't make it any easier for the Uchiha to deal with he had loved his parents he didn't know anything about what they had been plotting he'll, he'll just be a child at the time he didn't understand why it actually had done what he had done but now that he did, he couldn't help but wonder about his parents. Did they tell someone else what they had been planning? Did they somehow inform the council of their plans? If someone had done that, why can't, why wait this long to implant the plan? It wasn't like the ad they had known would be Okage after the fourth died. Scowling, Sasuke turned and looked over at Naruto. Their situation had just gotten a thousand times more complicated than it had been yesterday. I don't know yet, Sasuke muttered, but I am going to find a way to make sure you pull through this mess. I just got a hug from Lady Sonali, Nakashi said entering the room. Hell has broken out in Konoha. The council have made their move to state that the Okage is unfit to rule in this trying time. This trying time, Sasuke snored, it's a war that they've started and it's a war they are going to lose. We are going to have to get to Sonya as soon as possible because they sent Ambu out after the, tra the traders, didn't, didn't they? Kukashi nodded. I don't know that Naruto is strong enough to survive the journey to Sonya. He added knowledge he would like likely send the Uchiha over the edge. Anything is better than staying here and just waiting for them to show up. They won't give us a chance. They will kill just because we helped him. Sasuke pointed out, unfortunately, the journey is necessary anyway. Anyways, because anything is better than staying here and just waiting for them to show up. They won't give us a chance. They will kill just because we helped him. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just reading this in part. Really need to talk to Gara before the council sends someone there. Looking back at Naruto, Sasuke hated that he was going to have to remove him from the medical care that he so clearly needed, but at the same time, Sonya had better medical services to offer, so that had to mean something. 
The news from Kona only gets worse. Kakashi said the known supporters of Naruto are being attacked in broad daylight. In broad daylight. No one cares about it. Other than the other supporters, Hiroaku was attacked. While he is mostly okay, he won't be able to defend Konoha. Sasuke's call over was controlling this mess was making the move quicker than he had expected to. If you guys don't know Raka, he is the academy teacher of Naoto. His sensei throughout the, the academy of learning, most like in the books. So, yeah, I just want to point you that out. Well, whoever is behind this mess certainly isn't wasting any time. Sasuke muttered, Tell me, Sunade is helping them escape Kakashi Naden. She is telling all now to supporters to leave. We are all to meet in Sona. If we get there first, we are we are to explain the situation to Gara and have him not send any military support. After Gara takes one look at Naruto, good luck stopping him from destroying Kona. With all of Naruto's support gone, there will be nothing to stop him unless whoever is doing this also wants to draw out ten tails. Sasuke said he could just be a ploy to get all the tail beast. Maybe Kakashi said but it definitely feels like it's focusing on just now to at the point at the moment. Oh this is intense guys. We have to get out of here. Just came out already. He wasn't got he, he wasn't getting a good feeling. The longer they stood there talking, get now to on my back and go get Sakura. I'm starting to wonder who who is the team leader here, Kakashi muttered as he approached Naruto's bed. Sasuke scowled at him. They really didn't have time for this. They could discuss it later when death wasn't hanging over all, all their heads. Kakashi un unhooked Naruto from all the milk machines, which mean when Naruto moaned as Kakashi gently pulled him to a, to a sitting position. From there he grabbed Naruto around the waist, the waist and hoisted him up onto Sasuke's back gently, wrapping Naruto's injuries wrist around Sasuke's neck. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, let me pause real quick. Alright. I don't know how I don't know to tell you to be careful with him. Kakashi mother as he took off together Sakura leaving Sasuke, Sasuke to stare out the window, wondering at the danger that he knew was heading their way. Could they made it to Sona in a full day? Sasuke wasn't sure but they were going to try like hell. Naruto's life and and Konoha's future depended on it. Sakura joins them a few minutes later, looking sleepily but concerned. What's going on? She asked upon seeing Naruto and Sasuke's back. We are going to Sona and we are going to bring hell down on Konoha. Sasuke answered grimly before exiting the building and heading for the nearby forest. This is hella intense. Ooh. We're going to. Anyway, we are going to keep going until we reach Sona. Sasuke told them, "We don't have time to stop and rest." Ambu are on their way already. For all we know, will now to make it. Sakura asked, fearing the answer she didn't want. Want her teammate to die. She would do anything she could to help him and protect him. I don't know Sasuke answered, but I do know they have a better medical team in Sona, which is all that we can hope for. He rushed through across the ground barely, 
feeling now to his weight on his back. He only hoped that now to had enough strength in him to keep fighting. Sasuke didn't know if the war would be long, but it would be tearing to all those fighting. They can run for the next several hours stopping only to grab a drink of water. Kakashi repeated attempted to get Naruto to drink but he couldn't get any water past Naruto's pierced lips. Parched lips, not pierced lips, sorry guys, parched lips. Come on Naruto, you need to you need this water even more than the rest of us do. Kakashi muttered after several tries, Kakashi gave up on gave up not knowing what to do. Help me get him off. Sasuke said, I think I can get him to drink. Help him to lower Naruto to the ground. Sasuke found himself staring into a barely cautious Naruto's blue eyes. You're going to get even sicker if you don't drink something. Sasuke told him as he took the water from Kakashi, can you at least try to drink for me? Sasuke asked. I wouldn't want a masked man to force water down my throat either. Kakashi scowled at him, but noticed a thin smile on Naruto's lips. Sasuke reached out and gently tilt, tilted Naruto's head back, pouring a little water in, into Naruto's mouth. Naruto swallowed painfully, but he opened his mouth for some more. Good job, Sasuke muttered, giving him a little more. When he was finished, Kakashi held Naruto back onto Sasuke's back. They were all getting tired but they had to get to their destination. If, if L was breaking loose right now in Konoha, Sasuke strongly suspected that the council had some sort of military force willing to back them up which meant they had best get to Sonaha as quickly as possible. Who knew what the council had in store for those that supported Naruto? Sasuke won't be surprised if they even tried to put them to death. As they ran, Sasuke could sense an unknown chakra following them. He prayed they weren't enemy ninjas because that was the last thing they needed at the moment. They were exhausted from running all day. Sasuke didn't know where he would find the strength to fight and he knew Naruto wouldn't be able to to I, to attractive ninja was barely conscious at it as it was sorry guys. Oh, I gotta take my breath again. No. Even as, the, even as they ran, Sasuke heard now to give a sharp grunt of pain. Sasuke watched out. He heard Sakura cry out even as he heard another cry of pain from Naruto. It was expected enemy ninja. Only good thing was they were about to cross the borders into Sona. They just have to survive until they could meet the with, with the Kazekage. Glancing behind him, Sasuke saw a kunai flying through, flying, growling under his breath. Sasuke pushed himself harder. They didn't have too much further to go. They just had to get away from these guys, whoever they were. Hearing a straight, a straighted cry come from Naruto's lip. Sasuke forced himself to run out, run even faster. Naruto couldn't handle the battle right now and who knows how many hits he had taken. His back wounds had probably been reopened. I'm sorry Naruto, Sasuke said. I should have seen this one coming. Sasuke didn't like knowing that Naruto had, had had even more injuries. To himself because they hadn't managed to escape without being noticed whoever they were there was nothing he could do at the moment
besides throw a kunai blindly behind him, praying that he would slow the enemy enough to get ahead. Sasuke took Naruto ahead. Kakashi ordered Sasuke, and I will deal with these guys. Sasuke nodded and headed towards the border again. An hour later, Sasuke approached the, the border to see people standing in a line waiting for him. He was still far enough away that he couldn't see if it was someone friendly or the enemy. Sasuke slightly hoped it wasn't the enemy. He was beyond exhausted and he knew Naruto's condition was even worse. The closer he got, he got though, he noticed the group was coming out to meet him. Sasuke didn't think he had ever been more relieved than when he saw Gara's figure standing with his arms across his chest and his brown on his back. Uchiha, Gara said, you want to tell me why we receive a summon? Summon's telling Suna not to upset you in the village. Sasuke grunts, he should have known that the village would try this crap already. Take a look at Naruto and then tell me you won't take, take us in. Sasuke replied and Gara stepped around to see Naruto clicking to Naruto's back. Gara's eyes went wide with horror at the sight of Naruto's back. It had been beyond ripped to shreds and then Naruto had, had taken more than one hit from a kunai while they had been fleeing. The land of waves. What happened? Gara asked as he mentioned for the Sona medics to come forward. The council happened. Sasuke replied, not liking it when Naruto was taken from him. It was his job and wholly his job to protect the blonde. It was the, la the least he could do after what happened. But Naruto had happened through to bring him back home. The council had Tsunade sent Kakashi, Sakura and I on a mission and had Naruto remain in the village. When we returned we found Naruto chained to a post. His life went out of him. Sakura swallowed hard at the memory it still made him made made him sick thinking about it to my knowledge Naruto had done nothing to deserve the punishment he got we got him loose and took took off from what i understand that comes to declare tsunade unfit to rule as okage and they are uh, having all Naruto supporters severely punished Gara closed his eyes, feeling a wave of sympathy for what his friend had suffered. He hadn't thought that Council had it in them to be so cruel. He wished they were a little closer and he would cross them with his son. Rage tore through Gara, making everyone step a, step a little way, step a little way away from him. They knew he was capable of knowing that Naruto was good, was a good friend to him. Know that Gara would unleash unholy hell on, on Konoha. Gara, I fear for Naruto's life. He's sick already, but no, no order to feel no order to free him kakashi had to use his lightning jutsu and i fear it has damaged naruto's heart sasuke said catching the furious red red edge attention he really needs help he's severely dehydrated and i fear most of the wounds have opened on his back again you have no worries uchiha gara said 
You have no reason to fear, so now we will take care of Naruto and provide provide you with whatever you need, whether it be an army or food. Sasuke closed his eyes. Thank you. Thankful in that moment for Naruto's friendship with Gara. Even as he watched the Sona medics take off with Naruto, he noticed Gara didn't take his eyes off the blonde. How could your village do that to you? Gara asked, rage clear in his voice. The village that is nearly dead for time and time again. How could they do something as cool as this? I don't know Sasuke answered honestly. The only answer I have is that Kona has been sitting on their aid for a long time and allowing it to fester until it grew infected and leaked out, infecting others as it went. Sounds a lot like you when you were younger. Gara committed turning his anger eyes on Sasuke. How do I know you you didn't have anything to do with this? After all, you were the one that wanted to kill Naruto. If I wanted to kill Naruto, why would I have brought him here? Sasuke asked, narrowing his eyes at Gara. I would have left him chained to that post and let him bleed to death. Obviously, I don't want him to die. How much planner? Plainer could or could how much plainer could Sasuke put it? Naruto was probably his closest closest friend deep down. Even when he had been seeking revenge against Itachi, Sasuke didn't think he had ever really wanted to kill Naruto. As it was, Sasuke didn't think he would ever forget the sound of the wind ripping Naruto's back to pieces it almost made him shudder thinking about it we are the where are they talking about what are they talking about where are they taking Naruto Sasuke asked knowing that Naruto would have the best possible care in Sona because Gara would make sure of it but he still wanted to be there to protect him himself. Turning his back to Sasuke, Gara looked out at the horizon where he could see shapes of more people rushing towards them. He will take care of Gara, Gara replied. Narod and the, sh the shadows, you don't have to worry about that. Sasuke turned and found what Gara was looking at. He hoped that it was Kakashi and Sakura. He couldn't help but worry about them. They had been outnumbered and while they were both talented shinobi, Sasuke doubted that could could handle the amount of ninja that has been following them. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Hold on guys. Turn towards the soldiers that had reminded remaining with him. Gara looked at them, rage slanting quickly. Be prepared for anything Kona has become an enemy. Seeking to destroy her her whole ninja. We will not allow them them here. We will not allow them here. We we will allow those seeking shelter from Kona to rest here. Our al our alliance with Kona is no more. Kara declared, knowing his decision was unusual, but it there had been preced predict predicament. No, not predicament. Sorry, guys. I'm alright. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm just off my reading game today. 
and it's late so anyway guys let's just say yeah president president for <laughs> I can't believe I forget that word work my brain stopped working president for alliance being destroyed on a battlefield before so they would accept his decision he would do anything for Naruto the first person to call him a friend he won't allow Connor to get by with what they were currently doing to him. Now to work too hard and taking so much pain on his own shoulders just for Connor. Girl wasn't going to allow Connor to split to split that that back in his face. Gar knew how it felt to be mistreated and to be feared for something he had no control over. Through the course of time, Naruto had worked hard to change his village, village's opinion of him. And for a while it hadn't looked like it had succeeded. However, right now, it looked like hate was the, the stronger emotion Gara wanted nothing more to destroy those who had so willingly done this to Naruto. Naruto of course wouldn't want him to but this time Kara wouldn't listen. Those council members had to learn that Sona's alliance with Konoha only stood because of everything Naruto had done to save him. When he'll be in the clutches of the Akaski, they would learn that there were, was nothing that Garp wouldn't do to protect his friendship. They would learn that the, the Kazakage of Sora was the one to be trifled with. They would pay for the mistakes they had made when they had willingly, willingly hurt Naruto. Clenching San tight, tightly in his fist, Gara closed his eyes struggling to regain in his attempt in his temper he had seen now to come through some rough situations but seeing him like this made Gara wonder if Naruto could pull through this could pull through this time there was only so much pain that the body could take it only be natural at some point for Naruto to be defeated no matter how strong he was, these enemy ninja were following you. Gara asked his eyes remaining focused on the figures in front of him. Yes, Sakura and Kakashi rem rem reminded behind to give me a chance to get away with Naruto. Sasuke said I am sure some of them were able to, sh to slip away from the main group and follow. You shouldn't have made it to do made it to do the borders. Then Gara said clinging, clenching the sand tighter. If they haven't made it here, Gara hated the thought of where Naruto would have ended up. Probably in some place that wasn't even friendly with Konoha. Enduring who knows what kind of horrors probably shouldn't have Sasuke agreed, but I wasn't going to allow Naruto to be captured again. Who knows what would have happened. He probably would have died, Gara said grimly, as the enemy got closer to them. He wouldn't allow them to pass into Sona. He would do a better job of protecting Naruto than Konoha ever did. As the nin ninja got ninjas got closer Sasuke pulled out a kunai he was exhausted but he was willing to fight to protect his friendship with Naruto he didn't care what it cost him it didn't take long for the enemy to reach them as Anna Sasuke fought alongside Gara. he could swear that he felt Gara's rage as he crushed whatever in there to approach him. Sasuke almost felt sorry for the Ambu that had dared to attempt to hurt Naruto. 
further than he already was. Gara, Gara was clearly furious, protective over Naruto, and it showed as he crushed the sixth Ambo with his hand. You will regret what Kuna has done to Naruto. Gara settled as he grabbed an Ambo and nearly glut, gutted him with a Kunai, of course. You won't live to really regret it. Throwing the Ambo's body away like trash. Gara faced the few that still lived. I'm going to let you live, Gara said, his voice dark and threatening. Only you are going to return to Kona and give them this warning. If they insist on pursuing Nato, Sona will raise up and crush them like the bugs they are. If they dare send any more troops to Sona, they will not return. They will be do dumped in the desert with no hope of buried by their loved ones. The Kazakage will no longer will now break any alliance with Konoha until the rightful Hokage is in Gara's eyes and so far the only one that had even accomplished that was Naruto. Gara smirked as he watched the Anbu take off in the, op in the opposite direction of Sona. He doubted the foolish council would aid would aid his warning which meant he would have to cause and toll damage in Kona but considering the rate of this disease in town that might not be such as bad thing we wonder if it would be possible to annihilate all the eight in just one swoop he doubted it he found it hard to believe that Kona is still horrible in it are aboard any eight towards now to after what the kid has done kid has gone through for them without saying a word Gara turned and made his way to, to the city he had a friend to check on he couldn't imagine the pain Naruto was in right now even if he was unconscious Gara had only gotten a glimpse of his back and what he had seen was enough to make him sick Half an hour later, Sasuke followed Gara into the Sona hospital and then after going down a few hours and making a few turns, they enters now they enter Naruto's room. Naruto was barely conscious, staring at the floor, lying on his stomach. Why medic ninjas worked on his back. Sasuke had been right about Naruto being it with Kunai and opening more than a few of his wounds. Blood ran freely down Naruto's back, even as the medic tried to stifle the flow condition. Gara asked, not caring about pleasantries when it was his friend lying on the table. Critical but stable. The head medic replied as she pressed a, get a, gloves, a gloves pad down on, on one of the deeper cuts, causing her to let out a, a soft pair of pain. How bad are the wounds? Gara asked as he approached the bed to take a closer look for himself. Some of the deeper wounds are badly in infected. It looks like they were infected before the stitches were ever put in. The medic reply, however, some of the newer injuries are starting to show signs of poison. Both Sasuke's and Gara's eyes narrowed at the word. Poison? How oh, bad? Sasuke demanded. It's, it's had a, a good amount of time to set in. I am afraid, but it's not a poison that will be hard to con contract it. The medic replied for a moment, afraid of the red eye. I am standing beside him. 
Sasuke growl how growled it low under his breath. He should have known that the Ambu would be corrupted enough to attempt to poison Naruto. Would the attacks never end? Would the attacks never end? Kneeling down, Sasuke made sure he was eye level with Naruto. The kid's normal, normally bright blue eyes were dull with pain and shock. Sasuke couldn't imagine how much Naruto was hurting right now. You're going to be okay, he told Naruto. Shinade will meet us here soon and she will be able to fix whatever these guys can't. These guys can't. You just have to stay strong and keep on fighting for us. Hurts Naruto Mapu as he, he struggled to keep his eyes on the his eyes open and tra and trained on Sasuke. I know Sasuke. I know Sasuke said softly. Hating that he couldn't do anything. These guys will give you something to make it feel better. He looked up at the medic medic ninjas. Flashing his strong gun to make sure that he was un understood. There is no need to threaten my medics, Kara said, assuming at Sasuke's antics. They will take care of him, more so than your own village. Good, Sasuke murdered and then turned his attention back to Naruto. His friends were just barely open, and Sasuke knew he wasn't likely going to get anything else out of him if anything happens i don't know that i could handle it sasuke admitted as he slowly stood to his feet he's been like a brother even even when i wasn't worthy he kept fighting for me he made me understand what true friendship was i added he believed in me when no one else did that is why I am I am disregarding anything the cause says. I know that Naruto isn't capable of doing any of the crimes he said he did. The cause of time is coming, Sasuke said darkly. They, they might think they have, have us on the run for right now. But we will come back stronger than we were before we left. You will also have some as strength as well, Kara. Kara said. I don't think the council thought I would disagree. The alliance just for the just for one shinobi. But not those were a thousand of of those two. I fear though that the situation will get worse before it ever gets better. You will also have be that as it may, Sasuke said, I am only loyal to the corner that Naruto is part of is a part of. If you guys like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Part six. Hunt.